I'm John, your YouTube English teacher. In this lesson, we're going to study 18 phrasal verbs for vacations. Let's go! Number 1. Plan out. I'm really excited for our trip. Me too! I can't wait! But we should really search for some things to do. You're right. Just to get an idea. Let's start by planning out the first day and go from there. Let's plan out the first day. To organize or plan something. They planned out their route before the trip. She likes to plan out her activities for the week. Number 2. Get away. We planned everything out. Now what? The only thing left to do is wait. Right. But the waiting is the hardest part. You're right. I can't wait to get away. I can't wait to get away from the city. To escape or take a short vacation. They got away to the mountains for a weekend. She loves to get away to the countryside. Number 3. Take off. It's great to get away for a while, but I still haven't told my boss. Tell him soon. You need to be free those days. I'll tell him tomorrow, and I'll take that week off. I hope he lets you do it. I hope he lets you take those days off. To take a break from work or responsibilities. He decided to take off a week for vacation. She took off the afternoon to relax. Number 4. Stop over. I was able to take that week off. That's great to hear, but I'm having second thoughts. Second thoughts about what? Our flight. We have to stop over in Paris for 12 hours. We have to stop over in Paris for a few hours. To make a short stay somewhere during a trip. They stopped over in Dubai on their way to Australia. She planned to stop over in New York for a night. Number 5. Pack up. Good news. We don't have a stopover anymore. I changed it to a direct flight. Great news. I hope it wasn't more expensive. Now I'm really excited. So when should we start packing? We'll pack everything up this weekend. We'll pack up our things this weekend. To pack completely. They packed up their camping gear before leaving. She packed up her books and headed home. Number 6. Take off. I'm so nervous. I hate flying. Did you pack everything up? Are we ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. It's good to get to the airport early. We have four hours until our plane takes off. That should be plenty of time. 
Our plane takes off in four hours. To leave the ground for airplanes. The plane took off right on time. The plane is going to take off in a few hours. Number seven, touch down. We're in the air. It's so amazing. You're right. I love the view from up here. I feel fine in the air. The takeoff is the only part that bothers me. What time do we land? The plane should touch down in about three hours. The plane should touch down in about three hours. To land for airplanes. The flight touched down safely. They were relieved when the plane touched down. Number eight, drop off. Do you see our transportation to the hotel? No, I can't find it. None of the signs are in English. I think it's that way. Let's go. We can take a taxi and drop our bags off. I'm so excited to explore the city. We can drop our bags off at the hotel. To leave something at a particular place. He dropped her off at the train station. They dropped off their kids at school. Number nine, check in. Finally, we're here. Let's drop our stuff off at the front desk. First, let's see if our room is ready. Okay, let's check in first. We can get our room key. I hope our room is nice. Let's check in first. To register at a hotel or airport. They checked in at the front desk. She checked in for her flight online. Number 10, head out. Our room isn't ready yet. What should we do? Let's go explore the city. I remember we're staying near some great street food. Sure, I'm hungry after that long trip. Ready to head out? Ready. Let's do it. Ready to head out? To leave or depart. They headed out early to catch the sunset. We'll head out after breakfast. Number 11, turn back. Wait, that breeze is so cold. I'm freezing. I forgot my jacket. Do you want to go get it? I think it's a good idea. What do you think? I think we should turn back now. If we don't get it, then you might regret it. Let's turn back and get your jacket. To return to the original place. They turned back because of the storm. She decided to turn back and get her umbrella. Number 12. Eat out. We have a kitchen in the room. But are we going to use it? I really don't think so. This area has so many good restaurants. So let's eat out tonight, yeah? 
I saw there's a great restaurant around the corner. Yeah, I want to try some local specialties. Let's eat out tonight. To dine at a restaurant. They decided to eat out to celebrate the occasion. We usually eat out on weekends. Number 13. Sleep in. That meal was amazing. I'm so happy we decided to eat out. I'm so full. I don't know if I can even make it back to the hotel. I feel the same way. I'm happy that we're on vacation. We can sleep as much as we want. Me too. Let's sleep in tomorrow and relax. We can sleep in and relax. To stay in bed later than usual. She loves to sleep in on weekends. They decided to sleep in after a late night. Number 14. Show around. This city is huge. I think we need a guide. Yeah, these apps aren't good enough. I would prefer to explore with a local. Let's ask at the front desk if we can hire a guide then. I'm okay with that. I'd like someone to show us around. I'd like someone to show us around. To give someone a tour of a place. He showed his friends around the city. The guide showed them around the museum. Number 15. Settle in. You know, at first I didn't like this place so much. I know what you mean, but after some time it starts to grow on you. Yeah, after settling in, I actually really like it. I can feel the pace of the city. Yeah, I could even see myself living here one day. After settling in, I really like it here. To become comfortable in a new environment. She took a few days to settle in after moving. They're still settling in to their new home. Number 16. Run into. Remember our last vacation? How could I forget it? It was that cruise in the Caribbean. Yeah, do you remember when we saw our neighbors on the island? That was the biggest coincidence. I didn't expect to run into them at all. I didn't expect to run into our neighbors. To meet someone by chance. She ran into her neighbor at the store. He ran into an old colleague at the conference. Number 17. Wind down. This vacation has been so relaxing and so much fun. I really enjoyed it. We had a great time. What should we do on our last night? Let's wind it down with a nice dinner. Let's wind our vacation down with a nice dinner. To slowly end something. They wound down after the busy day with a quiet dinner. She likes to wind down with a good book before bed.
Number 18, check out. It's time to go. Do you have everything? I think so. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Double check to make sure. I'm going to go down and check out. Okay, I'll meet you in the lobby and we can call our taxi. I'm going to go to the lobby and check out. To leave and pay for a hotel stay. They checked out of their room and headed to the airport. She checked out of the hotel early in the morning. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned some new phrasal verbs about going on vacation. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you in the next lesson.